Hello, my friends. Welcome back to another episode of Dark Souls 2 with me, Notorious BLT. So, I went and got the annoying little friggin' lizard dude. <laughs> I actually had to pull out my broadsword to kill this stinking thing because my rapier could not reach it, believe it or not. We're just going to run past some of these clowns. Um, I did also find a, uh, a, oh, a hidden chamber that I completely missed before. Um... Well, I shouldn't say I completely missed it, but I, uh... Excuse you? Ooh! I did not realize you were still alive. Get killed. Um... So... That chamber, basically, it, it just contained, uh... God, what the hell was it? Titanite and firebombs? Yeah, it was Titanite and firebombs. Uh, so I did upgrade my... Good lord. I did upgrade my... God, you're, there's so many of you. I hate that you just keep popping up. Uh, my rapier, again. So it's now plus... Five? <laughs> plus five, yes. Okay. Because uh, it's simply just because we had enough. Not we've had enough, just we had enough. Okay. Uh, so... Onward we go. I don't remember where it is that Lucatil's sign shows up. Uh, what is it? We just have to pop this and then we're fine, right? Humanitar restored. I have to kill you. I did also level ever so slightly. Um, but it wasn't like a huge deal or anything. Uh, is that her? Lucatiel of Mira, yes. That is what we want. Um, I put more points into... God, what the hell stat that I put more points into? <laughs> oh, it was our Vit, right. So we can increase our equip load so I can have a little bit further rolling. Hello, Lucatiel. Let us go. And make with the face punching. So I've... Uh, <clears throat> I looked up... A little something-something for us. Uh, that little something-something. Actually, I should pop another one of these. The, the little something something that I looked up was uh, how, or not how, but what spell, and if it's a miracle or a sorcery, and it is in fact a sorcery, that I'm going to need to be able to cast repair. And it is in fact repair, and it's going to be showing up in the, uh, not the Darkwood, God, what the hell's the place called? The flippin', uh, oh my god, why can't I think of it? Huntsman's Woods? Huntsman's Copes? No, not the Huntsman's Copes. It's the, the foggy place. The stinking fog place. That sucks. <laughs> that I hate. To be fair, there's always at least one place in a Dark Souls game that I hate. I detest you, sir. I don't believe you can actually backstab these guys, either. I, I don't think, anyway. Alright, so the reason I'm putting all this poison stuff on is that you can poison this enemy. This, this bouse. And the only reason that I summoned Lucatiel was because uh, we need her, or, it, I, what is it? You need to summon her for all the boss fights that you can. I just realized that your sword looks, oh my god, that's the sword in Dark Souls 3. Oh, that's the Hollow Hunter sword or Hollow Killer sword. Hollow Killer is that the Hollow Killer sword? It looks very similar. Anyway, let's 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 go. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna do this. We're also gonna toss some poison knives at this boss, the Flexile Sentry. Get poisoned already, would you? Are you poisoned? You're not poisoned. Get poisoned. Get poisoned, I say. Alright, well, I guess it's time to poke. Oh my god. Yeah, don't get hit by that. That's bad. Is he poisoned yet? Do you not get poisoned anymore? Well, get get stabbed then. How's that? <laughs> okay, this guy is not as hard as I recall. Flexile Sentry Soul. 
Then again, the last time I played this game, I was absolutely horrible. The Flexile Sentry is a merciless creature whose purpose is to punish the undead. Use the special soul of the Flexile Sentry to acquire numerous souls or make a thing to do some stuff. I still didn't open the poison the the trap chest because like why? <laughs> why would I why would I open a poison or a, a trap chest? It, actually, is it poisoned? I don't know if it's poisoned necessarily. I don't know if it's poison stuff. Why? Oh, right, right, right. We don't have the extra buffiness because we have other rings on. Pyromancy Flame and Fireball. Uh, I don't believe you need anything other than the Pyromancy Flame to be casting Pyromancies. Is that right? Influence of Faith and Intelligence Fire Attack. Hmm. So... It does get influenced by faith and intelligence. I guess this is where they started doing that. Yeah. Uh, so, fireball. They don't have, like, requirements, right? Yeah, there's no requirements for them still, so that's good. Uh, a standard spell for pyromancers creates a fireball that is hurled at foes. To use pyromancies, equip a pyromancy flame to serve as the catalyst and assign a pyromancy to an attunement slot. The power of pyromancy is directly influenced, or affected by the quality of the catalyst. So, kind of the same. we got to upgrade our pyromancy flame. And we also want to poke this. Actually, I forget. I, I need to look up something really quick. Let's see. Agility. Because I forget what the best, like, what, what the stat is for agility that you want. Okay, looks like 116 is about where you want to be for max. So that's what we're, that's what we're going to shoot for, is 116. And off we go to a new place, which I am probably going to leave almost immediately. Eh, yeah. <laughs> Man, a lot of people died out here. Holy hell. Joy. Joy, you say. But there's all these deaths. So, like, how? Why? Retch ahead. Alright, I just, like, I really just want to get to a bonfire, though, is, like, what I want, so... Well, poke you in the butt. You're coming after me now, I guess. Yep. Listen, y'all, I just want a freaking bonfire, so if we could just... You know what? Fuck this. <laughs> Fuck this. I don't even want to take the chance of getting invaded. I just... I'll, I'll take the goddamn boat back. Okay? I'll take the damn boat back. I'd like to spend my souls... So I can increase my ADP. And actually our entombment a little bit. Because I'd like to be able to use some spells. Wait, can't... Uh, does this tell you how many entombment slots you got? does not appear that it does. No, sir. It, it, excuse me. Dude, what Bearer the fuck? of the curse. That's some sick, nasty-looking armor. Souls. Oh, right. I had to wait for you to sit up. Right, right. Uh... Attunement? Oh, my God. That's terrible. So, your attunement, your attunement stat does also influence your agility. I'm going to have to increase this if I want to ever get... More slots. I suppose we should increase our ADP. Look at this. 46 levels and I've barely added anything to any of my stats that actually mean something. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I think if they just got rid of ADP... And just made your your dodge rolls like the way they should be to start. I, I would have so fewer gripes about this game. I, I wouldn't have none, but they would be fewer, much fewer. Uh, should I purchase these? Let's, yeah, let's buy two. That's fine. 
And we'll buy some arrows. 74 sounds fine. Alright. I'll be around. Now I'm not upgrading our armor because I don't know if this is what I want to keep. In terms of our, our armory goodness. Yeah, I don't know if this is the, the set that we're going to want to keep. I'm probably going to change it to something else later. Well, do we have any good chest armor? That's light? This is light. What does this look like? That looks really cool. But we're also not rolling very far. <laughs> like, at all. What if I change out to... What is this? Hollow Infantry? No. Yeah, the Hollow Infantry is just such trash. Ooh, the Brigand Trousers, though. You know what? We got a decent amount... Oh, you know what? That, lo that looks cool. I like it. We're going to stick with this. I like this. This looks good. Fashion souls over everything else souls, okay? Without a doubt. Uh, no, that's hates. We don't want hates. Although, we do have a fragrant branch of yore. We do have a fragrant branch of yore. So that means that there's another place for us to go. Well, not, not another place for us to go necessarily, but another spot for us to explore. That I would like to get to. Um, so what we're going to do is head down this way really quick. Now, this is one of those things that I, I hope to God that the devs had the foresight to not, like, totally bone people that wanted to go in a different direction or whatever. I, I'm, I'm almost certain that they probably did, because otherwise, like, fucking why? <laughs> All right. I need to shoot you. Um, and the reason I say that is that I'm going to end up using... I'm going to end up using a fragrant branch of your in a situation that is probably not the most efficient. I'm going to pop this guy right here. And I'll tell you why. My recollection is that there is, in fact, a... Oh, just wake up already. There is, in fact, a, uh... Jesus, what the hell am I trying to think of? The thing that increases your Estus crap. The, the shard. There's a shard up there. Oh, so actually, here's a good way for us to see where the actual true eyeballs of the stinky basilisk is. See right there? Jesus, back up, back up, would you? See right there, that little yellow dot? Right at, like, the very back of the mouth? That's the actual eye. The rest of this is just big freaking gas sacks. It's gross. It's super gross. Do I really want to wear this? The stone blade ring is nice, but... I kind of like being able to... Yeah, fuck it. It's nice to have something that does lots of poise damage. You know, because our weapon is very light. Oh, the mammoth soldiers. Man, you guys are rough. Or maybe they're not so rough. Maybe we can actually just, like, not ignore them, but fucking Christ. Maybe we can, uh... You know what? I take it back. You're not so rough. <laughs> You're kind of a pushover. Rusted Mastodon gauntlets. Mastodon, that's what they are. Not, not Mammoth. As his flash yard. Uh, Mammoth. Mammoth, Mammoth. What, what the hell is it? Mammoth something? There it is. Gauntlets worn by the primal knights of Dranglaic Castle. Durability is low due to rusting. Its weight would normally crush a man, but to uh, to the brutish primal knights, it may as well be made of papyrus. Uh, yeah, it's pretty goddamn heavy. I don't think we have... Do we have anything that's heavier? I mean, the Drang Gauntlets are pretty goddamn heavy. But then again, like, everything for the Drang set is pretty goddamn heavy. I wore that stuff for a while, but it's probably not the best idea to wear it. 
Probably not the best thing to wear, I should say. Ooh, the night stuff. Can nigget things. Metal helmet worn by knights. Standard issue for New Drang Leg knights. Knights have long trusted this helmet for its excellent functionality. Okay, and this is the same same old garbage. Uh, let's see... Is the Hade Knight stuff heavier? It is... I don't know. It, what? it is exactly the same. But has lesser... So it has better, like, magic-y defenses. But not as good physical defenses. Interesting. It's also better against bleed. I think we're going to keep the Hade stuff on. Yeah, we're going to keep the Hade stuff on. Because it looks good, and I like it. Ooh, what is this? Secret! Just a busted-ass door. Hmm. Just a busted-ass door is all I'm saying. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Was it back here that there's some weirdness? Weirdness? Weirdness. Weirdness? No, no weirdness. Alright, well, let's get the hell out of here then. Alright, so we've done our slight backtrack. Uh, but we need to get back to where we were. And call the boat back. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Man, a lot of people died to that basilisk. Or maybe they didn't die to the basilisk. Maybe they got invaded. Yeah, that sounds slightly more likely is that they got invaded. What the hell did I get hit by? Did I get chipped by somebody? I might have gotten chipped by somebody. Alright. Now, I don't know if when you burn a... a Hoobajoo... Ugh, this guy. No, 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 no. I don't know if when you burn an effigy, if that screws up uh, being able to summon NPCs. Because I would like to summon the NPCs. The, yeah, the NPCs. Not just an NPC, but the NPCs. What? <laughs> no. I'm sorry, but no. Why did you not come up and try to eat my face? I don't understand. Uh, where is the... Oh, the boat's, the boat's still here. Good. Good, good, good. I thought you, For some reason, I thought you had to call the boat back. Get out of here. How about you? You want some? Yeah, he wants some. You're going to get some, I promise you. God, I love the... Even though we didn't get a counter hit right there, I love the counter damage on this weapon. I love it. It's just absolutely delicious. Alright, let's get back to where we wanted to be. Spend our souls. Yeah, y'all can chase me if you want. I'm going to hit that button and you're not going to have anything to do with it. Okay? So, don't mess. <laughs> just stay back and let things happen. So I don't really exactly understand what the Flexile Sentry is all about, but, you know... I, I guess you're not, you're not really meant to understand what all these different things in this game are about. Alright, we don't need to see this cutscene again. We've seen it once before. Uh, there is another Flexile Sentry that shows up at the end of the Bastille? I think it's at the end of the Bastille. Yeah, it's at the end of the Bastille, ain't it? Okay, what the hell have all you people died to? What is you You fighting... Okay. <laughs> what, what'd you die to? Did you lure these guys out here and then get ruined? That seems to be the case. Well, you're gonna die. Mr. Drunken Barbarian Man. I don't remember exactly where this lets out in the Bastille, but <laughs> do it. Do it. Like a dream. Yeah, I don't know about that. Can I? Okay. Obviously, I can't pull you. 
Skeleton. Oh, we got to start watching out for the Pursuer. Like, the Cursed Pursuer. I don't remember if there's actually anything else below this. I don't think there is. Is there? Yeah, I don't remember. Man, the elevators in this game are so much bigger than some of the elevators in the original Dark Souls. Uh, okay, I was going to say, please open. Alright, we got to watch out because there are dudes that explode. Running around in this freaking place. Old Proud Knight, Radiant Life Gem. I think we already know about the Radiant Life Gems. Uh, are there any other cells to open? No? No. Oh, I should be checking for secret walls. Or secret doors, or friggin' whatever. Secret is secrets. You got a secret? How the hell y'all... These people must be dying from invaders or something. Yeah, they, a lot of these folks must be dying from invaders. That's my guess. The last Bastille. How? What? Regret ahead. Hmm. I don't think you can get into any of these, can you? Or no, there's one that has a bonfire in it, doesn't it? Does it not? Let's be careful. Common fruit. Don't give up, skeleton. <laughs> Rough illusion. Yeah, you're not an illusion, though, are you? I don't think there's any illusions around here. No? Where is the stinky bonfire, man? I'm almost certain... There it is. Fabulous. Fabulous. Rest, just to reset your, your weapon. Prepare to get invaded, because that's just what's going to happen. Did... This is... I feel like I should know all about this, but I don't. Yeah, he's shooting at me, I get you. Here's the problem, though. Like, all these barrels are explosive, I'm almost certain. See ya. Yeah, I'm fairly certain that, like, most, if not all, of those barrels are, in fact, explosive. Uh, the Pursuer... Do oh, dogs! The Pursuer does come out somewhere around here. The the Cursey Pursuer. Oh, I'm gonna have to get out a different weapon to cut these down. I certainly do not want to be doing that with my, my rapier. Or my mail breaker. Because these towers have dudes on them. Also loot. Why can't I hit him with the rapier? Okay. You know what? Get back in the friggin' house. Or just stab this guy. Yeah, that's fine. Hey, dog. Stop it. Okay, I don't remember where the... Whoa! I don't remember where the hell the Pursuer actually shows up. You know, I just realized I got an Essel Flash Shard, and I didn't actually, like, bother using it. Get stabbed, son. Mmm! Mmm! Where do you show up, though? But I don't want to. I just want to. Okay, fine. Oh, yeah. Be careful. And you know what? Instead of being careful in here, we're just going to not go in there right now. Where does the friggin' pursuer show up, dude? 
I know he shows up around here somewhere. It's, it's when I go back here, isn't it? Vigor. Mm. Vim and Vigor. Yeah, we get to see the bonfire. That is a little bit difficult to obtain. Oh, has this flash shard and large titanite shards. Thank God. Love them. Love them. Don't you pursue me, dude. I'll smack you. I'll smack you with this here rapier, I'll tell you what. What is it that forces your ass to show up, dude? Why you know? Why you know? Now, I've never actually really tackled this area this way before. I, w I went the other direction, which was a, a fool's errand. Ooh, soul of a nameless soldier. Uh, if you would kindly kick that down here, that would be great. Yes. Yes. No. No. You are such a jerk. Ow. You are a big old butthole. Man, I hate you. You are just such a dick. It's locked. Damn you. Damn you, sir. <sighs> All right, fine. We'll go this way. Fine, fine, fine. We'll find the other bonfire. I believe, uh, I think it's this way we have to go to get the Lucatil anyway. Yeah, I want to say it's this way we have to go to get the Lucatil. Give me this. Gold pine resin. Very nice. Shh. No, the forlorn. Is it actually forlorn or is it some asshole that's saying he's forlorn? This dude is running like a bat out of hell, which means he's probably going to ruin my life. This guy's got hit points like he's the friggin' forlorn, I'll tell you what. Don't you fucking push me off, I'll kill you. Well, I already killed you, but you understand what I'm saying. <laughs> I will find you and murder you once more. Get Also, get poked. You stinky forlorn. This man. So you gotta be careful here because every one of these barrels is explosive. Oh, Jesus. No, 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 no. What is this asshole doing? You know what? Just get, get, get poked. Get poked. Ugh. What a jerk. I, th these enemies are some of the biggest jerk bags, I swear to God. I forget, can I... How do you... Oh, the ladder. I remember this ladder vaguely. Mostly I just remember hating that ladder. Hey, Luca. I thought that might be you. You haven't changed a bit, have you? <laughs> the longer I am here, the more madness I discover. A wretched place, indeed, but not without traces of its former glory. What could have caused such degradation? For a second, I thought her head had sunken into her body. Ah, yes. I have not thanked you for humoring me the other day. This is for you. Very nice. Of course, I have no idea what it is. <laughs> Our land of Mira is surrounded by enemies and constantly at war. There is only one way up in Mira. Join the Order and prove yourself in battle. My family had little fortune and no name. I had to carve out a piece of the world for myself. With two things. My sword and my loyalty to my lord. 
I was raised to wield a sword from birth. Life was hard, but I never gave it a second thought. I had swift success on the battlefield and quickly attained respectable stature. And then I... And then I came here to... Have you heard of the undead? These poor souls affected by the curse. An undead gradually loses his humanity until his wits degrade completely. Finally, he turns hollow and preys upon others. And a hollow can never be human again. One can skirt this wicked fate only with the help of the souls found here. Assuming, of course, that the legends are true, I can only hope that they Ooh. are. I don't think I've ever seen her take her mask off. Oh man, her face is all screwed up. Shit. Excuse me while I examine your face with this pair of binoculars. Dude, Luke deal. Damn. I'm sorry to burden you with talk of my fate. I suppose I've grown weary these days. I'm sorry. I suppose. Mm. Antiquated key. I think that was that's like one of the first keys we've gotten. Oh no no no! I am I am full of crap. <laughs> A very old key. This key is very old, but in very good condition, such that it should still function. Only what lock does the key or does this key fit? I'll tell you. Actually, I won't because I. Oh, it opens from that fucking side. I won't tell you because I have no freaking idea. We're not going over there. There's no reason to because there's not really any progression to be had. At least not yet. I believe this is going to open the way to the blacksmith. Mr. Uh, I think it's Steady Hand McDuff. Even my brain keeps wanting to say, like, Cool Hand Luke, which is so totally not the thing. What do you mean it's friggin' locked? God damn it. <sighs> do I have to come at this the other direction? I'm going to have to come at this from the other direction. Which is... There he is, that son of a bitch. I don't think this motherfucker drops anything useful either. No, come back. Come back, Stinky. Drunk Octopus wants to fight, dude. No, no fight? Okay. Fine, fine. Let me ascend this... This here ladder. So I want to say that there's another way for us to go, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. No? Wait. Yes? No? Fuck. Just make a decision. Treasure ahead. Oh, that must be it. That must be what I'm thinking of, is that there's a treasure over here. Yeah. So brave warrior and human effigy. Very nice. So that was the whole reason to come over here. <laughs> All right. Back we go, back we go. Hoop. Be careful of exploding buttholes. Not like... I think y'all know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, this guy. Ah! Oh, you son of a bitch. I hate you because you get to explode as many times as you freaking want. Yeah, get stabbed to death. No more exploding assholes? Alright, good. Also be very careful with how you handle any of these barrels. So like this? Totally fine. Do not strike them. They will explode and make you very sad. Like this guy. He's going to explode and cause a big explosion. It's gonna. Yep, there, okay. there you go. You killed yourself? Yeah, you did. Oh my god, he's still alive. This guy is still alive. How? I don't know. Don't give up skeleton. Flame butterfly. Excellent. I get 
feel like there's like a thing of... Th th this place has tons of secret doors, by the way. Antiquated key, that's what it's for. Oh, fucking dogs. Get stabbed. All oh, right, you. There's Oh, this is the place with the well. Okay. Yeah, overwhelming ed. Yeah, it's real bad. But I want to say there's a trick with alluring skulls. But I don't recall what the trick is. Yeah, see, there's treasure, but there's a lot of dudes. Um I don't remember what the trick is. You know, I think we might just go and get the stuff. Ah! Alright, 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 alright. You got me, you got me. Now it's time for me to get you. No, 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 no. <laughs> Get screwed. Can I actually get back in here after? I don't think I can. Can I? Uh, no, it doesn't look like I can. So perhaps I shouldn't? Perhaps I should not. Yeah, let's deal with the overwhelming scumbags first. What the hell was that? Did you just open it? You opened the door! Hey, thanks, pal. Wait, could I not open the door before? I don't know if I could open the door before. That doesn't work, huh? Alright, this is gonna suck. Mother plunker. Oh, I don't like these guys. Wanderer stuff. Very nice. Very, very nice. What does the wanderer gear look like? It's this guy, right? Hood for the, rov uh, for the roving type. Light, sturdy leather made for long journey. Okay, that's the same for all of that. All right. And we've already seen all this other crap? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. So, be wary of explodey bits. Where does that go? We've got a lot of upgrades for our Estus Flask soonish. Yeah, this next room is full of... Green Blossom. It's full of freaking goddamn ninjas. Maybe we should just, like, go back... And upgrade our Estus Flask a couple times before we really go messing around. May not be a bad idea, although I'll have to deal with all these clowns again. You know, I honestly just cannot remember what the hell you get for killing the Pursuer again. I don't think it's much. Well, honestly, I don't think it's very much. Arch Drake Robes, Arch Drake Shield. Is this the stuff that the... Yeah, this is the stuff the cleric... No, the, the cleric doesn't start with this, do they? No, I think the cleric does start with this. Or at least I think my cleric was wearing this. Little is known about the Arch uh, the Archdrake sect and its ancient rituals, and those who dare to indulge their curiosity have been known to simply vanish. The Archdrake sect uh, are the keepers of Lindelt's histories, including the only record of its foundation. A tome they have good reason to keep hidden away. Arch Drake Shield? Yeah, there we go. Shield of the Arch Drake sect of Lindell, the dragon was engraved for ritual purposes, but the shield itself is highly functional. The secrets of Lindell ritual are protected by the Arch Drake sect, and only a uh, select few. Okay, then we, we know about that. So, no, no, stop that. What is the Arch Drake shield like for 
defenses. It is pretty friggin' good for defense. Oh, right, the Drang... I forgot the Drang Lag Shield is one of the first 100% uh, block shields. Any of you uh, specials? Special walls? That is a big axe you got there, pal. Oh, Ferris Loxone contraption. Come here, jerk bag. Okay, maybe it's not full of ninjas, but it's got ninjas, okay? It's got ninjas. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is this what I think it is? Is, is old Stinky going to come out? Is this where old Stinky comes out? Bone staff. Skeleton head. <laughs> is this where old Stinky comes out? I don't know if this is where old Stinky comes out. Hmm. Well, hang on. I know there's treasure chests, but I want to head up here because if this is where I'm thinking it... No, this is not it. Never mind. This is not Old Stinky's place. By Old Stinky, I mean the Pursuer. Uh, parrying ahead. Weakness woman. <laughs> All right. Well, let's look at the Bone Staff. Bone Staff. Staff crafted with animal bones, a catalyst for sorceries and hexes. Properly trained sorcery, uh, sorcerers receive their first staff from their master after reaching a certain level of accomplishment. Those without proper training must devise something of their own making. Parrying dagger. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Unlike standard weapons, this dagger is intended for parrying. Accomplishments are forever out of reach to those who constantly fear failure. A true warrior hones this, uh, his body and mind, and peers far beyond immediate hardship. Wait, what is this thing? A scaling for dex, huh? That may be something we end up using in the future. Wind blade. Oh, this is the thing that Teleport used for a long time. Right? I think that's it. This was something that I've actually been thinking about using at some point. A twin blade fashioned from rare guy steel. Designed for high ranking Drain Lake Knights, hence the decorative design. Guy steel equipment is of the finest make, but guy steel is so rare that very few of these weapons were actually used in combat. Uh, I guess they're, they operate a bit like dual wielding. Just a just a tiny bit. Not actually like dual wielding at all. Uh, are any of these secret walls? I believe the Pharos Lockstone contraption is uh, how we get. Actually, wait. No, I'm thinking of something else, aren't I? I think I am. I think I'm thinking of something completely different. No, the Pharos Lockstone contraption does not lead us to anything. Wait, wait. Is this where it opens up the, the weird fucking thing? I, I don't remember. I do not remember. What does this say? Guts ahead and then regret. I don't remember if using the, the lockstone contraption here is a good idea or not. I really do not remember. This seems ominous. Something ahead. Trap ahead. Isn't this how we get destroyed? Who I can't wake up because I kind of f fucked things. What the fuck did this guy just... What? Well, you're not a mimic, so there's that. It says trap ahead. This is probably going to spout poison or some shit. No? No poison? Wilted Dusk Herb. Oh, we didn't read the green blossom. Green weaved, shaped like a leafy flower. Temporarily boosts stamina recovery speed. At one point, this herb was avoided due to the it's unusually bitter to... Oh, actually, no, we already know about that. What the hell am I saying? Uh, uh, dusk herb? 
Is this okay? Yeah, restores many spell uses. A wilted and faded stock of dusk herb restores a great deal of spell uses. A dusk herb in bloom works wonders, but will wilt in the blink of an eye. Needless to say, finding such an herb is of the utmost difficulty. But isn't this isn't that how we get destroyed, or something? Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's climb the ladder first. Wait, did I already climb the ladder? It doesn't appear so. Liar ahead. Illusionary wall. No, that is not an illusionary wall. I should check all these, though. Because, quite frankly, I just do not remember... I, like, I know this place is filthy with them. I just don't remember where all of them are. Wait, is, is one of these? Message ahead, then enemy ahead. This is the walkway that I don't really want to deal with. Why did... I thought there was another way around. Hmm. Coming at this place from the opposite direction is a little strange, I gotta say. Just a little. Just a little strange. Alright, we got that. Let's go, uh... I guess we're gonna visit Strayed. Unless this is not actually the way to get to Strayed. And then I don't know what the hell we're gonna do. There's an item down here somewhere, right? Right there. I don't know how the fuck you get that. Without getting killed. I think I pulled it off once, and never again. Oh, this poor man. Skeptic Spice. Weakness, head, therefore hurrah for hole. <laughs> what the fuck? <sighs> Dark Souls 2. Lures required faith by one for chosen spell. A spice exuding a per uh, peculiar aroma. A spell demands devotion from its caster, but using this spice makes a chosen spell attainable with one less faith, will only work with assistance from a certain person. The spice does not raise one's faith, but only obfuscates the requirement. Fuck this room. And fuck you in particular. Oh, that scared me. We want to be very careful here, because these guys will just, like, cause all kinds of havoc. I'm killing them because I just don't want them to get out. Also, I seem to recall that there's, like, an item in one of these. Ugh. Okay, so we got out of here. Where am I? This leads to a boss? I think? Uh, good work? <laughs> Alright. This is good for you, I guess. Mr. Explodey Man. Oh no! Get stabbed, dude! Have no more of that, please. Uh, where the hell did I just come from? There we go. Illusion. And then I. There's like more illusion to this, yeah? It's like on the side here or something? There it is. Green Blossom. I knew I was gonna remember some things about this game, just not much. <laughs> Oh, right, okay, so this gets us to the other side. That's right, that's right. And you can jump over if you want, but... Oh, fuck me. Why are you here? Piss off. Stinky. Oh, Jesus Christ. No, 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 no. Hey, 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 come back. Stinky, hey. Hmm. I thought he would just keep coming, though. For some reason, I thought he would just keep coming. Oh, it's you with the freaking crossbow. Hey, how about you get stabbed to death? It makes me happy. I don't know what it makes you happy, but I don't really care. What does that say? Brace knuckle something? I missed it. It was a ring, wasn't it? There it is. Slows equipment degradation. Knuckle ring worn by Roy the Explorer. Slows equipment degradation. Expensive, uh, yeah, expensive flashy gear will not always make life easier for you. Sometimes you just need your, t uh, your tried and true equipment to last the long haul. 
That uh, may unfortunately be something that we're... I don't want to say that we're forced to use, but something that we end up using nonetheless. Oh, fucking hell. Whoa, Jesus Christ. Is this man dead? Is he, is he deceased? God, I hope so. Our fucking shit is breaking again. Damn it. <laughs> shit. Get stabbed. Oh, it's this room again. No, not quite something ahead. Actually, like, nothing. <laughs> so, okay, right. That was the secrety secret. What is up here? Oh, wait, I think I know about this. I think I know about this. So, you, you push this over, and then blam. You blow all the people up. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. So, this is Secret Town, yes. Okay, we got that. We got that. Uh, is Stinky going to come out and play again? No, Stinky's just going to... Oh, that right. Ah, I got to get that. I got to get that. I got to get that. Flame Butterfly Torch. So, not like the greatest loot that's ever been. Okay. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I'm just happy that I made it. Good Lord. Tough enemy head. Here. Eh. I, I'm surprised the Stinky doesn't keep coming back. I thought he did. I guess not, though. I guess not. I still don't know how the fuck to get that item. I, it, I think it's just always going to elude me. Like, always, always. Uh, we killed all the dudes in here. Want to go up? Yeah, so... Get shot. Get shot. Get shot. I'm not dealing with any of you clowns. Because I know you all want to explode like, whoa. And I'm not dealing with that, I'll tell you what. I'm not dealing with your explosive garbage. No, sir. No, sir. Straight, you block my way, sir. You block my friggin' way. It's locked again. Where do I get this key? Where do I get this key? I don't know. What I do know is that we gotta rush across here. Er, wait, rush across? Hey! Life gem. Oh, eight life gems. Very nice. Because, what is it? This this asshole over there, he's going to shoot a crossbow full of fire, isn't he? Yeah. And this guy, he's got pyromancies, which we hate! Yeah, get stabbed. So much. You don't realize who you're messing with, I'll tell you that. I'll ruin lives. Yes, I will. I will ruin lives. Oh, Sinner's Rise is right. Now we can go fight the Sinner. We gotta be careful here. Right? Yeah? <laughs> oh, shit! He says as he gets chopped in the butt. That bum chopping. Oh, light that bonfire. Right, where'd you go? Oh, God. Hey. So, that was gargoyles. <laughs> those were gargoyles, those things that we just heard. And they're they're kind of trying to tell you that there's a... I don't want to call it a secret exactly, but... There's um a boss that we can fight. Not here exactly. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I think it might actually be the Pharaoh's Lockstone that I was thinking of. But we didn't see Stinky, so that... I don't know. Oh, I thought... It, hmm, I am unsure of the area that I'm thinking of. Bonfire head. Yes, yes indeed. No, no dudes. No, no dudes. I don't remember where this... Where does that go? Oh, that, that brings us down to the center. Doesn't it? Yeah, I want to say that brings us down to the center. So, there's... This is a shitty section right here. This is why. These motherfuckers just come up behind you, gangbusters. Shit, that was a very late roll. 
Alright. Thankfully our armor does protect us at least a little bit. We do want to pick this up very carefully. No, not the bloodstain. Pick up the item. Human FG. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Do we want to do this just yet? I don't... What? Well, I gotta get that. Uh, I don't know if we want to do this just yet. I I'd like to finish the rest of the Bastille first. Because there's also some bosses that we have yet to encounter. Where is that? Oh, the item's way the hell up there. Alright. I think we're going to have to come at this place from the opposite direction. Especially if we want to get McDuff. Hello? Please? Please? <sighs> Thank God. Jesus, get me out of here, dude. Alright, first off, Majula. Oh! I will say, the Bastille does confuse me, I don't want to say a little bit, it confuses me a lot. It is probably, to me, one of the more confusing is places. A shard you found here to see, however. It is a lot of shards. It's, like, two shards? Or was it three? God, I don't remember. It was a bunch. Okay, I don't have any more shards. That's fine. Now, let me increase my ADP. Oh, the most important stat in the game. Most important stat in the freaking game. It's a goddamn ADP. Tell you what. Friggin' ADP. I knew you'd be a ADP, everybody. <laughs> I don't want to increase that. I don't have enough shards. Um, might as well. Right? What the hell am I... Yeah, what the hell else am I going to... Yeah, just increase I'll that. I'll be around if you... We do need more large shards, certainly. On you. Let us get a bunch of these. I gotta save up to buy this. This fragrant branch. Alright. So giant woods, we wanna go here, right? Yeah, because we wanna go up towards the the dude. The, uh, the, where, where the, where the pursuer was. No chucking garbage, please. That was a horrible miss. I was gonna say, please don't tell me you're still alive, because I will be very upset. Hey, come here. Shit, damn. That poke. That poke was so good. Wait, I lost health? What did I lose health to? Whatever. Whatever. Y'all shoot? Y'all shoot? Hey. Did you just... You just got stabbed. That's excellent. Thanks for playing. There are more of you clowns? Hey. Alright. You missed! You friggin' missed. It's important to get this stuff exploded. There. Otherwise, you have a really bad time. Because this scumbag up here is gonna throw a firebomb and just make everything explode and kill you. See? <laughs> you see what I'm talking about? That piece of garbage? Alright, where's Mr. Come Down the Stairs and Attack Me guy? There he is. Man, I am very excited to eventually actually level my decks so I can do more damage. I know Giant Dad is very upset with me leveling decks. I get it. But there's no giant mask in this, in this, uh, in this game that I recall. So, uh, piss off, Giant Dad. Ooh. 
Royal Greatsword. I don't know if we've had that yet. Have we? Looks like a Zweihander to me. Greatsword of the Royal Swordsman. Its undulating blade draws blood from its foes. Despite the magnificence of this weapon, it was terribly inadequate in the war against the mighty giants. Yeah, I can imagine. The giants probably were just like, hey, whatever, dude. That's, that's a nice sword you got, but I'm like, you know, 20, 30 feet tall, so meh. <laughs> Don't really care about your little pokey stick. There's two of you this time? Huh, all right, well. No, examine. 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 Thank you. Here's our crow moment. You apparently got to have at least one crow moment per Dark Souls game. Actually, it looks more like a hawk. Yeah, I think it looks more like a hawk. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know we're running a little long. That's fine. I'm not really too concerned about it this time. Uh, we're gonna get these items. What? What? What is with all these messages, though? Just then. Okay. Right. I don't think any of these are trapped. Right. Dull ember. Oh, that's for Macduff. Right. I want to say that's for Macduff. An ember that radiates a dull light. An ember radiating a dull, radiating a dull light. This flame seems nearly exhausted, but exhibits an eerie resi uh, re uh, resilience. Perhaps this is its ordinary state. Human effigy. Very nice. Uh, there is, there is, there is. This is not an illusion. This is not an illusion. Don't even... Don't even... I thought there was another way around. Oh, there it is. That's what I'm thinking of. Oh, motherfucker. I remember now why I hated this place. Oh, Jesus Christ. I just want to get the McDuff. That's all I want. I just want to get the McDuff. Did you make me do freaking parkour and shit? I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Get out of here. Do it. I will. Oh. <laughs> oh, it feels so good to get revenge on the dogs. Because they're such jerks. So the name of soldier? So the name of soldier. Man, we got a lot of those. Tell you what. Dark spirit ahead, be wary of fear. Or rear, not fear. <laughs> so what happens is you come out here and then an old pursuer comes out and ruins your life. And you gotta be really careful about this pit because it will kill you. Covetous ring of some form. He has some new moves, it seems. What a douche. Oh, mother pus bucket. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We'll resume this next time. We'll resume this next time. Although we do have things to read. We've got the the new we've got a new ring, I think it was the covetous serpent ring or something. Yeah. A silver ring depicting the snake, both the servant and manifestation of the god of greed, Xandro. Greed is traditionally viewed as a vice, but only a fool allows that to ruin a good opportunity. Fallen foes yield more souls. It's good stuff, it's good stuff. Alright folks, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you all did enjoy it, and if you did, you know what to do. That is going to be for me, Notorious BLT. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll catch you all next time. Bye-bye, folks.